Cesar Sayoc was the man who sent pipe bombs to various Democratic leaders and to CNN. He was luckily caught, held in custody, and he did stand trial. He has been sentenced to 20 years in prison as a result of his actions. Sayoc's intended victims were former Vice President Joe Biden, Senator Cory Booker, former CIA Director John Brennan, former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, CNN, Robert De Niro, Senator Kamala Harris, former Attorney General Eric Holder, former President Barack Obama, George Soros, Tom Steyer, and Representative Maxine Waters. So the reason why he didn't get life in prison is because of the flaws in the pipe bombs. None of them detonated, and so that was a key element in the judge's decision for giving him 20 years as opposed to life in prison. Yeah, I don't. I've always find, found things like attempted murder uh, being uh, a smaller sentence to be somewhat irrational. They gave it their best shot to murder people, they should get the same amount of time. I know that most of society doesn't agree with me, and, and that is, if anything, a conservative position, right? Uh, but this guy tried to murder some of the top leaders in the country. Okay, now let's do a fun thought exercise. If he was, now I get it, he's not, he's a minority, he's Latino, right? So it's not about white people, so just everybody on the right wing, calm down for a second, okay? But if he was a Muslim and he tried to assassinate every top Republican in the country, does anyone think that he would ever get out of jail? Dude, don't even say Muslim. Let's say if he was anti fascist. Like even if he was, even if he like loosely was affiliated with like Antifa or something, if he had like a couple tweets about being a leftist, like they'd be like, oh, there it is, it's a terror organization, we got them. Like these guys are what, throwing milkshakes and everyone's losing their absolute minds over it. Whereas you know there are actual right wing radicalized domestic terrorists out there gunning down entire crowds of people exclusively because they are mirroring the rhetoric from Donald Trump. So in Guantanamo Bay, we kept some Muslims that we knew to be innocent. There were some that were guilty, some that we knew, hey, they got rounded up because somebody was gonna collect a $5,000 bounty. We know who, which ones didn't actually attack us. We don't even let them go. There's still, a lot of them are still in Guantanamo Bay. So if you're a Muslim, due process, whatever, who cares, right? And any of that, if this guy, whether it's Antifa or Muslim, had targeted Republicans instead of Democrats, if the Republicans would be like, what, you're gonna let him out? You're gonna let a pipe bomber terrorist out? He's gonna murder us if he gets out. 20 years, he did it to Democrats, Ah, it's okay, who cares? Now, second thing, are you absolutely sure that Donald Trump is not gonna think about a pardon? Oh My God. Oh, no, come because, on. Because, I mean, look, his, no. admittedly, he, he was inspired by Donald Trump's <laughs> rhetoric. Okay. No, he's not gonna, I mean, no, 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 hold on, hold on, I, hear I me out, hear I me really out. I would not put it past Donald Trump. No, hear me out, I don't think he's gonna do it. And I'll tell you why I don't think he's gonna do it either. But is he gonna think about it? First of all, when in different attacks where he was praised, remember the only thing he cares about is do you praise me or do you not praise me? Kim Jong Un kills thousands of people. Trump doesn't mind as long as he writes him a nice letter. He's like Kim Jong Un's a murderer, I don't care. I don't care at all, I, I love him, he said. He said they fell in love, right? He literally said that. Yeah, and that guy is a mass murderer, right? I mean, okay, then you every, turn around. Every world leader is a mass murderer. I know Kim Jong. I mean, uh, Kim Jong Un is is uh, like separately uh, bad for not having any civil liberties for his people. But like, come on, it's just hold on. Then there's an attack where the uh, homeless guy is beaten down and and urinated on, and Donald Trump says, "Oh, did they praise me?" Well, hey, listen, they're patriotic Americans, and and you know they're just uh, enthusiastic. Right? He encourages violence at his rallies, etc. Now, is he gonna do it? Because no way, because the minute he says it out loud to anyone, my guess is he would say it in a joking way to a friend or family member. Yeah. Like, I mean, like he, he did love Trump, he was strong on that. Caesar Sayoc, his whole truck was covered in pro Trump bumper stickers. He was, he was, it was a very strong van. It was a very, with a very strong bumper stickers. And he would say it in a joking way, and that's when Ivanka or Jared or whoever would tackle him and go, no, no, not that. You cannot do that. I said, oh, I was just joking, I was just joking. But has it crossed his mind? I, I wouldn't be surprised if it crossed his mind. The TYT Plus app is now available on iOS and Android. Download to get more TYT content at tyt.com slash app.